Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, tonight or today or whatever, I'm going to uh, paint this little pilot. If you watch the video that I did, uh, the last video I did, I took Super Phil. I super filled his hair on here. And I put a mustache on him. So let's uh, transition that. So he's got hair and a mustache now. Real hair instead of just that plastic nonsense hair. And of course I took an X-Acto knife after this stuff, or a scalpel, after this stuff hardened up, I went ahead and added some hairlines in it to show just some texture believe it or not i mean this looks kind of messy like his hair is messy but it will look very very realistic when when i get it done here so we're going to paint this up so let's uh, go back over here to my box of stuff i got a box of paint this is the stuff I use. It's an apple barrel. You can get it from Walmart, 50 cents a piece. They're, uh, they're just acrylic. Little mocha we're going to use for his skin. Going to need a little red. We're going to need a little uh, chestnut. And uh, let's see here. So this is the stuff I use. It's a apple barrel, 50 cents a piece at Walmart. Go ahead and buy 10 bucks worth. That'll be plenty to paint all the pilots in the world. And uh, we're gonna, I gonna need to give him a haircut. He's got hair touching his ear. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to need uh, a very fine brush. This is very, very fine. I got a couple of those. This one here is even finer. I have some uh, wash brushes, and I got, I got a lot of paint. I got a lot of paint here. I haven't even opened those yet, so I don't need to open those. Uh, you're going to need some Snow White for the whites of his eyes. I got Jet Black for his hair. Let's see. That's black. Let's use, let's use Jet Black. We'll make his hair Jet Black. I usually make him blonde, but or I don't know. We might add some brown in it, too. Sun-kissed peach and light mocha, and we're going to do his skin first. Actually, I ought to do his eyes up first. So, I get a, just something to mix the paint on. I'm going to try to give you a good close-up of what I'm doing. So, the trick to painting pilots is to match your skin tone. Let me uh, tilt that camera down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, like I say, we got uh, a million things going on here. And I'm the only one doing it. I guess pilot painting is not very interesting. Only got one watcher, but that's okay. Transition. So, to get ready, we're going to take the sun kissed peach and light mocha, and we're going to mix up some 
I don't know what I'm thinking of. I said that I was gonna do his eyes first. We're gonna do his eyes first. So the first thing you want to do, you want to take a pencil, whatever, and get where his pupils go. You don't want him looking cross-eyed. Actually, let's just paint the whites of his eyes first, and we'll add his pupils later. This doesn't take very long to do, and they look pretty realistic. If you want to see how it's done professionally, get the Bob Hunt uh, Don Typhod pilot painting video. It's absolutely the best. That's how, what, how I learned how to do it. So get a little bit of this Snow White. And we need very little. And let's change the camera angle. And we're going to paint the whites of his eyes first. So you get, and it doesn't matter be, because if you go over outside the lines, because you're going to have to go back with, uh, with flesh tone. So we'll just dab it in. No big deal. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have you don't have to take a whole lot of care to get it in because you're going to paint the outside of it. The blue um, eyeball itself is what's the difficult part to get it in there. So I've painted the whites of his eyes. Now we're going to paint. We're going to do his skin tone and how you make skin color. You don't want to use peach and you don't want to use skin tone because those colors are not very realistic. So we're going to take sun kissed peach, put a drop on here, and that's uh, decently close. And we're going to take a little light mocha and put it, you don't want to mix them together, you want to separate them. What the heck, is this not coming out? Is it dry? No, there it is. Okay, so we now have this palette of colors here. We're going to take the brush and we're going to take some of the peach, some of the mocha, Mix it together. I'm going to probably have to add a little red to redden it up. I'm not sure. Oh, that's getting closer now. So you take it and you dab it on your hand. You just This is a lot lighter than I am, so we're going to have to darken it up with a little bit more of the nutmeg don't use black to darken darken up skin tone yeah, we'll just open it up. so we'll add a little uh, of the nutmeg So, take some of this, some of this, get a pretty good pile going. I hope I can make it, and it doesn't much matter. So, you just, you don't want to add a whole lot, so you're just going to take a little drop and add it to it. A little drop, add it to it. A little drop, add it to it. Let's see how close, if it's getting close or not. It's still pretty light. So you want to dot it on your uh, your own skin until it blends in. Don't make them too dark. I mean, the pilot does have a suntan in the summer, but you they look like, I don't know, they're not right when they're too dark.
just like a, how would somebody paint a black pilot? Well, you certainly wouldn't paint use black to paint a black pilot because a black guy ain't black. We're getting there. Might have to add a little red to it now. Try a little red in there. This is a. Uh, it's like Don Typot. He, you know. It's an art to do this. I'm I'm not the best at it. I can get it done. So I add a little red to it. I mean, you wouldn't think that red would be the color to make it the right color, but it is. So now, I got a little bit too much red in it, so add a little bit of this. There we go. So now we're going to paint his uh, face. You want to... We're going to add some other toners in there too, but you want to paint under his hairline because and you don't have to be too, you know, it's not like you're painting a piece of fine art or whatever. You just got to get him covered, get his face covered. I didn't make up enough paint. Damn. So we're going to have to use some of the darker color, but that's okay. This guy's a punk rocker. He's got blue hair. <laughs> Don't worry about getting it on the mustache or none of that yet or on the lips or any of that because we're going to we're going to have to mix up some more paint here. Mix this up good. Get a big pile going here. Don't get any white in it. So we need a little bit of brown. A little bit of red. There we go. We got uh, we got a bigger pile of paint going now. Now remember, skin is not flat. It's shiny. But it's matte shiny. It's not uh, not gloss. It's matte. inside his ears because we're going to have to shade those too but you don't shade with black I can tell you that right now I see a lot of guys who 
to these pilots and they shade them in black and I guess whatever that's what makes you happy we try to follow the uh, the natural structure of the face you know that there's a cheekbone you know there's a jawbone you know there's eye sockets you know that the nose is going to be darker on one side than the other So, so far so good. Paint down here. Actually, you should have a shirt on. I think I'll paint a shirt on him. Got to get his ears. Make them a little darker because ears are dark. Oh, got it too light. Too dark. What the hell is going on here? Underneath the chin is a little darker. Okay, I think uh, I think we about got his face covered. We'll add we'll add the uh, the highlights in him after he dries. Got bags under his eyes now. <clears throat> okay. I need a. I need that thing of Windex. We'll. We'll wash this brush out with Windex. That'll be good enough. Water, Windex, whatever. paper towel by doing a video sitting down beats the hell out of standing up of course I sit down all the, or stand up all day bueno tarde Emilio bueno suerte Okay, so what do we want to paint next? We want to do his mustache, nose, hair, eyes, what? I guess we can get start to get some color on his mustache and his hair. Like I said, I'm going to do him in black, his hair black this time. But his hair will have highlights because hair is not straight black. But we'll add a little... Uh, little white to it make him a silver devil okay let's paint his mustache first Not too bad. Do some hair, I guess. This is what I'm anxious to see, the hair. I'm, I ought to put some silver wings on him, I guess. You know, us old guys are into this.
Doesn't that pilot hair look a whole lot better than just the flat hair? <laughs> I get tired of looking at that flat hair. It's stupid. Oh, now he's got a hair hanging down. Out of place. Oh, well. Nice thing about doing this is nobody can tell you what's right, what's wrong. Yeah, blue hair. You punk rocker. Don't worry too much. You can't make a mistake. I'll add a little brown in it too. Because like I say, hair is not black and hair is not white. Hair is not blonde. It's multicolor. Yep, got quite a bit of black there. Better add some white to it. These are, you know, when you're building airplanes, especially when you're getting as close as I am to, to finish, this has to be done because i got to do the cockpit here shortly. But then probably Saturday we'll work, start working on the canopy and cockpit area. Be, you know, so I've got to have this ready to go. So it's something that I can do on camera that's really not it's really not taught how to do right and it's not that hard to do oh got a little bit of hair on him there <laughs> on the flesh don't have to clean that up but come back and get that or are we going to add it to his wrinkles? We've got to put a little weathering on him. Yeah, I'm glad I super filled his head. That way I get extra pizzazz points. <laughs> I wish. He might get a set of headphones. I'm not sure. I, I like that detail. It's not that hard to do. Now what you're going to see next is I'm going to add brown to this only to the tops. The blacks will be underneath like it'll give it more three dimension.
We got six watchers, three thumbs up. Like, subscribe, share, super chat, all that good stuff. I think I finally got Stunhanger straightened out. I haven't got the email back yet, but a bunch of morons over. I'm tired of dealing with morons. Philippines. Okay. Yeah, I like that here. That that turned out really well. Make sure you get all the blue covered up, though. Left somebody looking in your cockpit going, hey, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Now for the brown. So I had a little brown here. Downtown brown. I mean, this is endless. You could do endless things with this. You know, there's some, your wife is a fine artist or whatever. Shit, have her paint the pilots. If my mother was still alive, I'd have her paint my pilots. Okay, we want to add some highlights. I got a little brown, so we're, you know, we're adding color to this. Go in the direction of the of the hair flow. I think what I need to do is let it dry because it's uh because we're getting it's getting pretty shiny so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So we got a black and gray mustache. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, we're going to add a couple highlights. Take your brush, put a little bit of white, and I do mean just a speck of white on the end of that. Oh, I see something else there. Top of his nose. You want to stripe down the top of his nose. Not too much. That was too much. So we'll take that off and we'll do a wash here. We're trying to add some dimension to him. Where did I see that blue? Right there. Right there. So what do you guys think? Do you think that uh, adding the super fill added something to the hair? I do. 
So now I got I got to erase my black line here. If you notice, if you notice right here, I I missed and I got a black line there. That's no problem. Just erasing. Okay, so I got, I have a white highlight on the top of his nose. One side of his nose is going to be darker. So we take the, uh, what is that, uh, nutmeg brown. It's either nutmeg or chestnut, I can't remember. And... It's a dry brush technique. We're going to dry brush the side of his nose. Give his nose a little dimension. That might have been too much. Take a little bit of a little bit of this and add into it, biting it up. Okay, now lips are not brown, and lips are not, they're kind of rank, they're pink, they're, so we're going to take a little red, and a little tan, we're going to make some lip color. No, he won't be wearing lipstick. There we go. That's not bad. Now, <clears throat> chins are always uh, have a shadow underneath them, or the lip underneath the, ch the chin shadow. You want to use uh, a little bit of the nutmeg, a little bit of the peach. Yep, that ain't bad. And in order to give him some depth, his eyes some depth, let's put a clef in his chin. We need to do that same thing to his eyes, to set his eyes back in. Otherwise, they look like they're just painted on. And we don't want to, we don't want that. We, we want something special. So a little bit here underneath the uh, eyebrow. A little bit under the eye. Kind of looks like you got a black eye, but it'll be fine.
See, eyeballs are balls. <laughs> so you got to have some definition to them. I guess I better do his eyebrows too. That was that was pepper. So that was this gray pepper color. <clears throat> now, how do you how do you do eyebrows? Know you got them right. An eyebrow goes from the corner of his mouth to that side of his nostril. That's the the stop of the eyebrow. And the start of the eyebrow is right at the bridge of the nose, if that makes sense. You can ask your wife. She can tell you where their eyebrows stop. Have her show you with a pencil. That's uh Pretty much part of anatomy. Just like your foot is as long as the inside of your arm. Your foot is as long as the, the length of your head. <laughs> Shoulders on a man are three heads wide. Ladies, two and a half. Let's see here. Oh, don't want to go too crazy on him. He'll be looking like a fag. Oh, can't say that. Don't know what to say anymore. I need to erase this line here. Line there, we got a little hairline there. There we go. Looks to me like it's. I need to put some black up there. I got, I got some flesh tone sticking up into the old OEM hair, and that don't look right. So. Need to draw. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Now, for the eyeballs. I usually have a pencil, but I don't have one. So I'm going to use this pen. We'll try the pen. Hopefully it'll work. Eyeballs always go in the same direction. So we're going to mark where the pupils go. Ah, damn. Screwed that up. That ain't no good. Now I got to see if I can fix that. Yeah, I got it. It'll be fine. Wonder how Tom painted bloodshot eyes on a pilot. And he painted the pilots that were smaller than this one. Next size smaller than this one. But he did. <laughs> Hopefully I have some of that matte finish. Let's see. Antique parchment, gray, snow white, that ain't it. Snow white, antique parchment. What the hell am I going to use for the flattening, the semi gloss? Might have to go to Walmart tomorrow and get some semi-gloss. Yeah, he won't get done today without that. I got none. Oh, well. 
Well, seeing as that this thing wants to be a pain in the butt, we're going to give him some deep blue eyes, award blue. I, like I say, I usually... I don't like that. It's too dark. Let's try this. Blue bonnet. Let's try that. That's too light. That's a sky blue. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Chocolate. We're making chocolate. Bright green. We could paint some bright green on there. Granite gray. Light mocha. What the hell? Too blue. Let's try this one. One of these got to be right. I think the two blue is probably right. Let me see if I can get a dot on here. Don't want to act right. Let's try this pencil. Nope. Let's try this pencil. Damn. Let's see if one of John's pens will work. Yep. John loves these. I hate them. I don't know why I got this one. Maybe I took it from John. I don't know. Don't remember. It won't even make a stupid dot on an eye. It's so crappy. Yep, there we go. Okay, in order to give him life, you have to put the dots where the pupils go. And you want to keep them kind of angled straight, or otherwise it'll look like he's out of, out of alignment. <laughs> so, get the paint on the brush. And we're going to do a half circle. We're going, to, we're going to try. I'm going to try to leave a little white showing on the bottom of the white of his eye. Man, can't get it. Okay. That's a pretty funky looking eyeball, eyeball setup, but we'll get him. That side there came out good. This side here is... Oh, I see why. Now I need to go back with the black. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Now he's got to have a black dot right in the center of that, and this, this is a hard part too. 
get that black dot in the center. Oh. I might have to take a stab at his eyes again because I don't like them. I don't like them. Oh, there we go. That one there just looks Chinese. That's uh, I see what I did. Nope, I'm gonna have to let them dry and do that eyeball again. I got this one okay. This one's no good. So I'll let it dry and come back and do it again. No good. I don't have any uh I don't have any of the uh, matte finish anyway, so we're not getting him done tonight. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Why his eye looks so goofy? Yeah. Let's see if we can wipe it out. I'm probably making a mistake by trying to wipe him out. I probably can get it from there. Ah, oh, shit. I just poked his eye out and put an eye patch on him. If you don't like something, don't settle. Go back and fix it. Stuff dries pretty quick. I come back in and outline it again with the flesh tones. Pretty close. Close enough. I was going to have a problem with that blue when it wouldn't go on there, right?
That's better. Not quite big enough, but better. I think maybe I'm gonna have to do a toothpick on this because it don't it ain't acting right for me. Okay. I need to clean up the outside. Clean up the outside. That's no good either. Shit. Well, I think I'm going to have to let that dry and get that cleaned out because it didn't clean out good enough and it's in the wrong spot. What am I doing? But it is a nice thing about acrylics, it don't take long to dry. I'm just scraping it out now. Try one more try. Got to, only got eight minutes left in this session anyway. We'll let that dry. We'll get that on, on another session. Got to redo that eyeball. One of the things that makes the eye really pop is this one little dot of white that goes in the pupil. If I can get it done right. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I got it. So it goes on that side. Now if I can just get that eye painted in right on the on his right eye. Paint it in right. You know what? Let's try the other brush. Six minutes. We ain't getting them done today. That's all right. What I want to know is what do you guys think about that hairdo? Is that not cool? That really worked out good. Same with the mustache. It, uh, it 
really added some dimension to that. You can just paint a mustache on, but it don't look as good as that. I think I'm aggravating it now. That's what's what's going on. Trying to rush it. Oh, that's what's up. That's pretty good. Let that dry and hit it with the black and then hit it the hit the outline. What really makes these pop, these pilots pop, is when you when you put the matte gloss on it. Because it makes skin is glossy. So you gotta matte this whole thing up. Of course I still have need to put the shadows in this. But that's that's gonna be a that can be a fine dude there. He'd be the coolest. Damn, that's too dark. Gave him a black eye. <laughs> there we go. Now for the little white dot. Or did I get the did I do the black dot yet? I think not. The black dot has to be in the same spot as the other eye. So we got that. It's right there. So not, not ready for the black dot. It's not dry. And if somebody's looking at this thing that close or standing too close to my airplane. Now the white dot. The white dot is the sunlight. I got him in the same spot, so that's good. Now the outline, which is a little bit of black. Ah, damn. I'm screwing up. It's too wet. I need to uh, slow down, let it dry. I got it off, though, so that's good. Um, 
Yeah. I'm done with that for tonight. This eye is screwed up. I gotta gonna have to work on that tomorrow. I have to take that off and start again. But if, if I keep putting paint on paint on paint, it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker, and it's just not doing not doing what I needed to do. So. This was an eyeball fail. I'll probably do it off camera where I don't have to explain it so I can pay more attention. So far, so good, though. And you really can't screw them up because all you got to do is take water and wipe it all off if you screw them up. He looks Mexican. <laughs> oh, I got a little bit of flesh tone on there. Can't have that. I'll get that eye yet. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to kill the scream. I'm going to leave it alone for tonight. I'm aggravating it. We'll let it dry. Eat dinner. Go to sleep. Got to go to work tomorrow. My weekend is over. But it's only a three-day work week this week. So That's good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night. Same time. Well, 7 o'clock instead of 6. Fair winds, tight lines. See ya.